Welcome back to another episode of Music Theory for Songwriters. Hey, let's take a quick look at four different ways to go from the one chord to the four chord. These work great with uh, pop, gospel, country, singer-songwriter styles. Let's just dig right in. So today we'll be in the key of F for this demonstration. We'll start with the basic major triad on the one chord. Remember, that's just the name of the key you're in, the one chord. And we move directly to the four chord. In this case, that's B flat. B flat is four of F. This is what I call the vanilla approach. It's just plain. Next, we'll use a bass note in passing to give us a first inversion sound on the way to four. So remember that first inversion just means that the third of the chord, here it's the note A, is in the bass voice. So we get. Okay. Next, we use the same passing note in the bass, but we're going to change the right hand, or the upper voices, to make a secondary dominant seventh chord. In this case, it's called F7, which pulls even more strongly towards the B-flat. Change F to F7, and it wants to go even more strongly to B-flat. And just to remind, a secondary dominant is when a dominant seventh chord shows up somewhere other than five of the key that you're in. So when we change F to F7, it's a little unexpected. That's not usually where we find F7. It becomes and acts like five of B flat. You'll see that F7 is actually five of B flat. So it really wants to pull there. And with this left hand going up into first inversion, we get this leading tone that wants to go up too. So you get all these tensions converging on the four chord. Okay, finally, we're going to change the upper voices a bit more with the same passing note in the bass. And we'll get a mix of tension and release that are really cool for the ear. So we're going to morph this F7 into an A7 chord by adding C sharp. We're going to bring this F up here to a G. That's the seventh of the chord. Making another secondary dominant. Now that secondary dominant wants to go where? It wants to go to whatever it's five of. It's five of D. So this chord wants to go to D minor. That's what dominant chords want to do. They want to travel to the chord of which they are five. But we give it a little extra color tones in here. it out. The A7 chord by itself wants to go to D minor. So we telegraph that expectation, but psych, we give the ear B flat instead. We deceive, it's a deceptive cadence. We pull the rug out from the expectation of a D minor landing spot and deliver the B flat instead. Well, there you go. Four simple ways to move from the one chord to the four chord. That happens a lot in music. So uh, check the description for a free PDF of today's lesson. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow, share. Until next time, bye bye for now. Hey, don't go away just yet. Check the description below for a link to this PDF 4x4. That's four ways of moving from the one chord to the four chord, and it's great for lots of different styles. And it works in any key, just swap out the chord names. Thanks for watching, and happy practicing!